three things that God wants from every believer. Aya mama matatu yanaboresha uhusiano wako na Mungu. Number one. God wants you to have faith. You know, one of the reasons why God wants you to have these things is because the relationship between us and God in terms of provision, the relationship is conditional. It's conditional. That's why God cannot heal you without you presenting your faith. It doesn't just heal because you are sick. He heals you because you believe. Usiana wetu na mungu ni conditional. Kwa hiyo kuna vitu ambavu vinasaitia maisha yako ya ukristo kusonga mbele kwa uraisi. Kwa kwanza ni himani. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 without faith you cannot please God. God cannot have a serious relationship with you in the absence of faith. You know, faith is the ability to believe in what you cannot see, but you fully trust. Praise God. We read with him on the basis of faith. Vile unahamini kwamba yuko hivyo ndivyo ilivyo. Yuko. Watu wengine watakwambia tuonyesheni Mungu. Na wanafunzi wakamwambia Yesu tuonyesheni baba. Nasi tutamwamini. Yesu akawaambia mnataka niwaonyeshe baba na mmeniona maana yeyote ambaye ameniona amemuona nani? Baba. Lakini hakumalizia hapo akasema heli wale wanaohamini bila kuona kuliko ninyi mnaotafuta kuona heli wale wanaohamini bila kuona kwa hiyo imani ni kuwa na uhakika kwa kitu ambacho haujakiona Yesu akasema Amini na chochote mtakacho amini kitatokea Bwana asifiwe In Mark chapter 11 and verse 23 I tell you the truth if anyone says to this mountain go throw yourself into the sea and it does not doubt in his heart believes that whatever he says will happen it will be done for him you must believe that whatever you have said will happen. It will happen. That is whoever does not doubt. Unajua Mungu anashindwa kufanya kazi na watu wa mashaka. Lakini anapenda sana kuchishughulisha na watu wanaotembea na uhakika. People that believe, praise God. To have faith is to trust in the unseen and you completely trust that it will manifest number two is holiness utakatif these are things that boost your relationship with God yanafanya mungu kila wakati anakuwa concerned na maisha yako anaangalia anakutambua kama mtoto wake mambo haya matatu Yata kusaidia katika safari yako na mungu. Yanafanya mungu ana, anakuwa concerned every time God keeps interest na anaweka notes kwa mba wewe ni mtoto wake. Chamba na kwaza nimesema ni iman. Ukiwa nayo, naturally mungu anapendeswa na wewe. Chamba na pili ni utakatifu. Waiperania hiyo kuminambiri, mstari wa kuminaine. Inasema bila utakatifu au utamuona Mungu. Inasema hivi make every effort to live in peace with all men and to be 
holy. Because without holiness no one can see the Lord. Unaona Mungu anataka uishi kwa amani na watu wangapi? What? Anataka mambo hayo mawili yatoke kwako. Amani na utakatifu. Amani ni kwa sababu ya wanadamu wenzako. Lakini utakatifu ni kwa sababu ya nani? Jehova. Bila amani hautaishi na watu. Bila utakatifu hautamuona Mungu. Kwa hiyo Mungu ujidhihirisha na kuchifunua kwa watu on the basis of holiness not on the basis of too much prayer you can pray so much but god will never reveal himself kuna watu hawajui hapa kwamba mungu upeana vitu vingine si kwa sababu ulimuomba lakini kwa sababu uko vile anavyotaka na hiyo ina attract presence ya mungu unakaa katika utakatifu na Mungu anakupea vile anataka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hakuna kitu kinachompendeza Mungu kuliko imani na utakatifu. Kwa hiyo jambo la pili ni utakatifu. Na jambo la tatu obedience. Samueli wa kwanza Kumina tano mstari wa mbili Waisraeli wakataka kumtolea Mungu dhabiu lakini sikia alivyosema Mungu Kumina tano ishirini na mbili Akasema hivi Mungu But Samuel replied Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as much as in obeying the voice of the Lord to obey is better than sacrifice and to heed is better than to fat of rams kutoa sadaka ni kitu kizuri lakini tuitoe kama matokeo ya utiifu John chapter 15 verse 14 Yesu akasema Rafiki yangu ni yule anayetii neno langu. Mstari wa 15 anawaambia wanafunzi. Yohana hiyo 15 15 anawaambia sasa ninyi sitawaita watumwa tena. Ninawaita marafiki. Kwa sababu mtumwa ajui biashara ya mkubwa wake lakini rafiki anachua siri sa rafiki yake. Na anasema kwa sababu mumetii neno langu ninyi mumetoka kwenye levo ya kuitwa watumwa sasa mnaitwa marafiki maana yake obedience brings promotion because when you obey obedience ushers divine promotion Unaona hawa Yesu anasema I call you friends because you obey what i have commanded mumefanyika marafiki na mlikuwa nini kabla ya kufanyika marafiki mlikuwa watumwa anasema kuanzia leo sitawaita watumwa tena nitawaita marafiki tii neno lake ukimtii yesu inakuondoa kwa utumwa inakuweka kwa urafiki Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Eh, hey, ukitaka baraka. It's conditional. Baraka is conditional. When you require prosperity, there is a formula in place. Na formula ya kimbinku ya kupokea baraka na utajiri ni utoaji. Giving is the formula of receiving. Hata Mungu anawaambianga msiingie kwa hekalu na mikono mitubu anawaambia ili msiondoke mikono mitubu muingie na mikono loaded ndio mtoke na mikono loaded. Hii formula ni kama ya ya, ya kawaida tu. Alifi haiwezi kukupatia mafuno kama hauchaipatia mbegu. The kingdom method of prosperity
charity is through giving. That's the channel. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 7. In a summer, the lesser are blessed by the greater. But the lesser attracted their blessing out of giving. Glory. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ukitaka upone, sio, sio giving, you don't give to be healed. That's where you go wrong because you don't have understanding. You are giving everywhere for wrong reasons. We don't give to be healed. We give to be blessed. Healing is free. But being blessed is not free. The formula requires your personal engagement. Are we teaching? Is somebody learning something? Mambo na uponyachi ni free. That's why even some ministers go wrong. You don't sell what you don't own. In Matthew 10 verse 8. says we have received freely. Freely we give. The difference we have received free. Healing free. Raising the dead free. Casting out the demons free. And therefore we offer free. Ukitaka uponyachi. Ni iman. That is, that is what it takes to attract healing. It takes faith to attract healing. Jesus said, you have faith has made you well. Sio mimi ni mekuponya. Kuna wengi ningependa kuwaponya, lakini awana kile cha kusaidia waponyo. Munaelewa? Una, munaelewa ile ma, mahana ya Mariko Sita mstari wa tano ati Yesu hakuweza kufanya miuchiza. Kwa sababu mstari wa sita walikosa nini? Iman. Kwa hiyo alikuwa na nia ya kuponya wengi, ya kusaidia wengi, lakini walikosa ndani yao kile cha kuattract uponyaji. Alileta uponyaji lakini walishindwa kuupokea maana uponyaji upokelewa kwa iman. So any time you go to God and ensure that you have what will attract what you want. Ukitaka baraka na utajiri, go to the altar with an offering. Immediately you deposit your offering on the altar. The altar knows it will respond with prosperity. You know, when God raises people, he reminds them not to forget the source of the blessing. Because when you forget, you lose it. That is the, the, the context of Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 17 and 18. Wakati mtakapo tajirika, musiseme ni kwa uwezo wenu, au kwa nguvu yenu. Lakini wakati uo, mukumbuke kwamba ni mimi buwana mungu wenu, na ya wapa nguvu ya kutajirika. Na kwa kufanya hivyo, natimiza agano. Buwana asifiwe. So you remember, what's the meaning of remembering? This I received from God. So my father, thank you. And that causes sustainability of wealthy. Many people give before they receive. After they receive, they forget. The same way you received is the same way you sustain. Manual ya kusustain utajiri ni kuenderesha kutoa. Hallelujah. Eh? Ambia neighbor usisahau. Utapokea lakini usisahau. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ndio maana Biblia inaita sadaka mbegu. Na madhabahu shamba. Ili kama ulifuna mwaka jana, utakosa kupanda mwaka huu kwa sababu ulifuna mwaka jana. Si tunafuna kila season. Every every Sunday is a new season with the, an expectation of a new harvest. Hallelujah. 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 You must understand the Bible by revelation. Kwa hiyo ukitaka uponyaji iman. Ukitaka kubarikiwa kutoa na ukitaka protection divine protection is a product of 
personal purity. Unaweza kuwa na mali, unaweza kuwa umeinuliwa lakini hauna ulinzi. Ulinzi wa kimbinku ni matokeo ya utakatifu. Unaweza kuwa umeponywa, umebarikiwa lakini hauchalindwa. Afya iko sawa lakini wezi wanakutembelea ni wageni wako nani stop. Hata pesa yako ukikopesha watu awarudishi. Unaenda from one altar of a man of God to another man of God. Nikikopa watu pesa awanirudishi. Ni kama niko na spirit of rejection. Hapana check on you. Hiyo maneno mengine. 